So in this segment, we're going to be talking about uh, Laura Trot MP and um, I think junior minister getting absolutely pieced up by um, a couple of different journalists. And um, she's someone who did well during the Boris Johnson select committees, but this is this is a shambolic display here. Do you think the Rwanda scheme is good value for money? I do. I do. Um, How much does it go cost? It's... How much does it cost so far? Well, it's cost a lot of money so far, but the point is that it's not operational yet. I think it's 290 million, but it I is. think it's, it's not operational. You know, it's so, it's so bad that the Rwandan government have come out and said, um, we'll give you 40 million back out of 290 million. Yeah, that, that's great use of money, that. Well, because the point is that it's not operational yet, Paul. So we're spending millions and millions and millions of pounds every day uh, putting up asylum seekers uh, in hotels uh, and we're moving them out into other accommodation as well. That's because you're not processing their claims. You wouldn't have so many people in hotels if you actually process their claims. But you hollowed out the civil service and the um, the the the, the, uh, the employees you know, the public sector workers and other groups that deal with that stuff you've hollowed out the judiciary so when it, their 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 claims go to court it's not going to get heard straight away like this is ridiculous and there's a fundamental principle of fairness here this is not fair that um, people are jumping the queue that the government get, doesn't get to decide who is in this country and again there's there's no one jumping the queue like if you made a system where people can apply online like Ukrainians can. There, there wouldn't be any queue jumping, so that makes no sense. So we think it's right that there is a deterrence scheme. We know that deterrence works, we know that returns agreements works. So these are two different things here. A deterrent is one thing, which they haven't got it working. Uh, a return scheme does work, because we have that with the Albanian government. Because we have one with Albania, uh, which has reduced the number of Albanians coming over here by 90%. Mm. So it wasn't down to the deterrent that you made. It wasn't down to this nonsense Rwanda stuff. It was down to the fact that you have a returns agreement with the Albanian government. That's your answer. So the Prime Minister hasn't always believed in the. Impact. Prime Minister hasn't always believed in the uh, the benefits of the Rwanda scheme, though, has he? Not when he was Chancellor. Not when he was in your department. Uh, no, I don't think that's true. Well, I think that obviously he. I mean, I haven't seen the individual documents. I assume you're talking about the leaked. Why documents haven't you seen those documents? Because the, the story's been out for 24 hours now. Why haven't you seen the documents? I don't, are the documents available? I don't know. I mean, I've been yeah. told about them, but the I haven't seen the actual... Uh... The, the, the government documents, and it was in the Treasury. Uh, Rishi Sunak was in the Treasury, your department, at the time. Those documents exist and belong to the Treasury. It was correspondence between the Treasury and Number 10. Why haven't you seen the documents? You've had 24 hours. I, I don't know. I haven't seen the, leak, the documents. What can I... So this, this is classic politician's dodge. So um, it's possible she's had them read out to her, um, but if you know something's bad, don't read it. And you'll look stupid like she does now, but at least you wouldn't have to answer the bad stuff that you've seen in the post. So um, it's a very, uh, it's not the best dodge. It'll make you look stupid, but I suppose it's better to look stupid than uh, malicious, maybe. I don't know. I say, Paul. Um, so but, I think you should uh, be getting on someone in your department and saying, why haven't you given me the documents? I'm the Chief Secretary of the Treasury. I want to see those documents. It's a pretty key story on, in the rounds today. The reason, really, you're saying you haven't seen the documents... Are they even publicly you, available? Well, they're available to the Treasury, yes. So you'll be able to see them. I mean, if, if these documents are leaked, like you said, because I, I know there's big stories about it that come out. I think the BBC, it was in the BBC as well. So her argument of, are they even publicly available? is like, as kind of the Janice points out here, um, she should be able to see, she is able to see them um, because of her job role. But if members of the public have seen them and she hasn't, it shows you it's a dereliction of duty from her part. You are the Chief Secretary of the Treasury. You can demand whichever documents you want from the Treasury. I haven't seen the documents, Paul, but the point is is that the Prime Minister has introduced the strongest piece of um, legislation uh, to deal with illegal immigration ever. Uh, it is thoroughly backing the Rwanda scheme, it's taking it forward, and it's something that the Labour Party have opposed at every single step. Yeah, because it's not going to work. It's, 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 a, it's a glorious waste of taxpayers' money. That's what it is. But, you know, this lot know, or not him, this lot know all about wasting taxpayers' money. Um, and, you know, this is her again just struggling. And we are spending millions and millions and millions of pounds on housing illegal migration uh, people coming over here, which is which is just wrong. It's not fair. It's not right. Uh, that, that, that's something she's mentioned twice. That it's not fair. It's not right. I'm a Kent MP. I see the impact this has had on children's services in terms of accommodation. It, you know, we... That's money that her government have cut from people. Like, this argument of, of fair and things like that. Like, if you process that... There wasn't this bigger problem during the early 2010s. If you've actually processed people's claims, we would not be in the mess we're in. So her arguments make absolutely no sense, and she should be called up on it. You know, her making the argument, it's either uh, we look after asylum seekers or we look after people, um, you know, in this country, kind of native-born British people. It, it doesn't make sense. The reason we're in this mess is because of her, her party. Um, so, you know, you can't use this dodge because they've, they've hollowed out both. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and so these are really embarrassing arguments that she has used here. Um, and I, I genuinely don't get, like, how, you know, she didn't get away with in this one. 
And I don't think she got away with the other one either, but we need to really stop the rot of this argument of it's either one group or the other. And the fact that the Tories keep claiming the Rwanda scheme's gonna work and we're spending all of this money on hotels when the only reason we're doing that is because this lot aren't sorting out processing claims. If you process the claims, there wouldn't be as big a problem. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.